Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is one-click results, getting amazing looks using Luminar Looks. So with one click, we're going to get amazing looks by using Luminar Looks. Um, now, first of all, a look is a collection of all the tools that you use to make up a style or, again, a look. And that's how the name or that's how they received its name. Let me give you a quick example. So here is Olive the Rescue Kitten. Before, and one click, boom. That's what we're gonna turn it into. So I'm gonna show you that and a whole bunch of other built-in looks that we have, all right? Now, before we begin, let's take a moment and thank our partners. Fujifilm, make images, Share stories and experience moments at the speed of life with Fujifilm. Thank you for staying at home with us. All right, and we're back. We have a lot of people coming in. We have a Big Mac again coming in from Japan. And yes, Danny, I do remember you from Photo Plus. We had a great, uh, a great event there in New York City. All right, so let's dive right in. And... Here's what's really cool. So the new version of Luminar 4.3 allows you to reset all your adjustments right from here. So if you if you select a look and you don't like that look, just select um, reset adjustments. Now my cropping, and for this particular image, I cropped it ahead of time. <clears throat> and if you notice, it looks like a little fish eye. I applied that. So um, it didn't change that. What it did change was the looks itself. All right. So let's dive right in. Now, I'm going to come over to, <clears throat> let's start with the essentials. Essentials. The essentials looks, what's great about it, I love, love, love the very first one. Here it is before and after. Ready? Before and after. <clears throat> that particular look, what's so neat about it is it, it uses all of the, in fact, let me click on it so you can see. And here we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the essential tools here, it uses the tools I always start with. Light, AI enhancer, and then, of course, color. So it, it automatically, look at that, it automatically makes the image look really good. So that's the one I usually start with. And now once you start with the look, then it's up to you if you want to leave it or you can add to it and make it your own. All right, let's grab another one. I love the black and white look, look at this. Now what's really cool um, about the black and white, the classic one, it's using the color here, to see desaturations of colors to get to get this look you could turn that off and then oh, turn it off there we go turn it off now the color is back and then apply the black and white conversion now the difference between the two is now you have more control over the luminosity and the saturation so if in the reds in the image look at his nose I'll zoom right in. So look, look right at his nose, for example. Because we know, we I know his nose is red. Look at this. I can make it brighter or darker. Um, and if I need, if I wanted to, I can actually bring back color. Let's see, greens, of course, a lot. And look at that. So I can even bring back some of the color like this for more of a muted, for more of a, a muted type look. But look how fast we did that. Before, after, let's reset them all again. All right. Moon Enhancer is another good one. Now, I like this here. What I don't like is look how aggressive it applied, um, like a glow onto um, Olive's fur. So I can actually come in here and I don't have to use the look at 100% 100, at 100%. 
if I dial it back, what, it, what it's really doing is taking the layer up here and applying it to the layer. So that means that any image or any tool that I used on this image is reduced equally by 49%. Before, after. Good. All right. Uh, super sharp is pretty good, but from this instance here, I love what it's doing to olive in the trees. I don't like what it's doing to the background. Again, I can come over here. I can see which tool it was used to create that. And sure enough, it's the detail enhancer. And then from here, I can go in and make my, my tweaks or changes. All right, let me do one more. And just because I'm not dealing with an actual portrait of a person doesn't mean I can't use the portrait looks. So let me come right over here. Here is a dreamy portrait. And again, I can dial it back in and out. I like it right about there. Oh, that looks really nice also. Before. After. All right. Okay, so that's great for Olive. Now, let's see what's happening when we apply it to, let's see, a person. I will use this image here. Reset any adjustments. All right. Uh, here's an artistic portrait. Oh, look at that. Now, so again, one click before and after. I like where, where, where it's heading and I like what it's doing. Well, I can come over here and think, okay, well, sure enough, glow on his face is what I'm noticing. I'm sorry, not glow, mystical. So the mystical feature on his face, look what it's doing. I like it, but if it's too much, I can come down here, do a radial, radial mask, and just mask it out on that area there before and after so um that looks pretty cool there again black and white then and if it's too dark like this right here we can come back up and just pull out a little more detail on the image Look how fast that was. I mean, I would spend hours on black and white because I, I, th th there's so many options you can do with it and the skin tones. What I love about this, it's one click, and then I can start applying um, my different tools, or I can apply different tools or different elements to that tool. Um, I hate to say this. <laughs> my, my, my poor Italian family is probably going to be flipping out. I don't make my own spaghetti sauce. You know, I, I was taught it as a child. I was taught it as an adult. I, I don't I don't have time. I'll buy jar sauce from the store, ragu, put it in, and then I'll add extra um, ingredients to that to kind of flavor it to my taste. Same concept here. I, I, I like the black and white look. We got it. Now I can use one of the other tools to tweak it just to make it look the way I want it. All right. And the photo, which we saw earlier, and film looks pretty cool too. Again, I'm looking at here. So here's the film one, before and after. Look at that. Now, notice again, if on the side here, any of these icons that are lit means one of those tools were used in that tool section. So, I can come up. Let's say AI structure. Good. Color. Film grain. Here we go. Portrait enhancer. So, I'm trying to look at what's, what's making it a little soft in here. And it may be this here. We'll bring it back a little bit. There we go. Before, after. Oh, I love what it's doing to the to the colors. In fact, let me look at the colors. 
I have a feeling, yep, going to desaturate it. So, but you see what it's also doing for you? Not only is it giving you that one click and giving it, uh, giving you that one click look to make your images look great, it's also teaching you what some of the tools are doing. So I know that, let's see, if we come in here, let's go to dramatic. I know for a fact that, <coughs> excuse me, if we hit the dramatic look, I know that if we come over here to the creative tools, we use dramatic as one of the tools because dramatics, one of the characteristics of dramatic is desaturating the colors and to get that gritty type look. So I could back that off a little bit and the contrast, look at this, if I bring the contrast back in, I'm getting rid of that gritty look before, after, look at that. And now I have a whole complete look that I can create and just say, all right, save. And I know part of this came from a dramatic look. So I could put soft, dramatic. All right. Yeah, I spelled it right. D-R-A-M-A-T-I-C. There we go. All right. So now I have it set. And it's under my Luminar Looks collection right here. And now I have that look that I just created um, that I kind of made my own. All right? So, guys, there you have it. Let's see. <laughs> so, yes, David. So, um, there you have it. It's a very simple. Th Luminar Looks are so powerful that you could turn almost any photograph into something that looks incredible. That, that's why Skylum says Luminar is designed for anyone who loves photography or just like taking photos. It, it makes everyone, it, it unlocks everyone's creativity and be, to become an artist. And we believe that everyone is an artist. So Luminar is purpose-based, not tool-based. Purpose-based meaning you decide what do you want to accomplish with this image What's the purpose? And then the tools fit into that purpose. All right. Now let me just show you one more thing while we're here. So while we're here, and I did show you how I created that look. Well, once I have the looks in place, if I just right click on one of the Luminar looks, I can show it in the folder. And here it is. These are all the looks I've created. All right. You know, plus I have many more, but what I can do now is I could copy these here. And I just hit Control A or Command A to select them all, copy, and then I can send them off to my friends or my friends, and my friends will have the exact same looks that I have, and they can just import and just drop them into their Luminar folder, and now when they relaunch Luminar, they'll have the same looks that I have. So looks are great to share, and if you want. Let me pull it up here. You could also come down to the marketplace where it says get more Luminar looks and it'll take you right over to, to the marketplace. There we go. Right here to where you could look up signature looks, skies, uh, textures, anything else you want. Oh, here's the other looks. The looks here, some are free. Ooh, look at this moody dad. Like, oh, I'm sorry. That's $20. So some of these are free. Uh, let's come down here. I'm pretty sure Rich Harrington's. Oh, here's a matte look that's free. All right, stunning portraits are free. And right here, the tonality pack. That's a look. That right here is a pack you definitely want to download, um, which you're going to love what it does for black and whites. So again, uh, it gives us more an option to take the software to the next level and lets people be creative, extremely creative and then share their creativity. All right. Well, hey guys, I'm Vanelli and I want to thank you so much for joining me on this coffee break and I'll see you at the next coffee break.